simplify a trigonometric expression. Recently I ran into a trigonometric expression simplification problem that I didn't get right on the first try. A lot of these simplification problems do not make it clear the way to go to simplify. So in this problem it was trial and error procedure. In the interest of full disclosure, I wanted to honestly tell you that I had a couple dead ends before coming to satisfactory solutions. I thought the process might be useful for pre-calculus and trigonometry students. This is the problem. A trigonometric expression is shown below. It's the cotangent of x over secant squared x plus the cotangent of x over cosecant squared x. Find the most simplified form of this expression. The first strategy I often use when I don't have anything immediately apparent is to rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine. And three identities we can use to rewrite their expression in terms of sine and cosine are as follows. The cotangent of x equals the cosine of x over the sine of x. Also the secant of x equals 1 over the cosine of x and the cosecant of x equals 1 over the sine of x. And here's the expression with all these identities, so everything is in terms of sine and cosine. We have the cosine of x over the sine of x over 1 over cosine squared x plus the cosine of x over the sine of x over 1 over the sine squared of x. Next, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, so the divided by 1 over cosine squared x is times cosine squared x, and the divided by 1 over sine squared x becomes times sine squared x. From here I tried to cancel out by division and I didn't know how close I was getting to solving this. I finally noticed that we can change our cosine squared over cosine x over sine x back to the cotangent of x. And here's the expression with cotangent x substituted back in. We have the cotangent of x times cosine squared x plus the cotangent of x times sine squared x. From here we can factor out the cotangent of x from each term. Now we can go to our identities and get our Pythagorean identity. It's sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So we can replace cosine squared x plus sine squared x with 1. So we have the cotangent of x equals 1 which simplifies to the cotangent of x, which we box in as our correct answer. That's pretty nicely simplified from what we had at the beginning. When I first did this, I didn't see substituting back the cotangent x for the cosine x over the sine squared, sine x. There aren't clear guideposts showing the way to go on these. Just to demonstrate that when it comes to these problems, there is or can be more than one way to skin the proverbial cat. And we'll do this problem another way as well. In this second method, we're going to take the two denominators of each term and multiply them together to form one common denominator. But in order to use the common denominator between these two terms, we need to multiply the cosecant squared x in the denominator on the second term by the cotangent x in the first term. And we need to multiply the denominator of the first term, which is secant squared x, by the numerator of the second term, which is also the cotangent of x. It's kind of like cross-multiplying to simplify correctly with a common denominator. So here's the expression with the common denominator. We have the cosecant squared x times the cotangent of x plus secant squared x times cotangent x over secant squared x times cosecant squared x. Next, we factor cotangent x out of each term in the numerator. So we have cotangent x times quantity cosecant squared x plus secant squared x over secant squared x cosecant squared x. Next, we're going to use the identities secant x equals 1 over cosine x and cosecant x equals 1 over sine x. And here it is with these identities just shown. The numerator stays the same and the denominator becomes 1 over cosine squared x sine squared x. Now we'll go back to middle school division of fractions and that's dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by x reciprocal. So we have cotangent x times quantity cosecant squared x plus secant squared x times cosine squared x sine squared x over 1. And now we'll distribute from what's outside parentheses to what's inside parentheses and that becomes cotangent x times quantity cosecant squared x cosine squared 
x sine squared x plus secant squared x cosine squared x sine squared x. Next we replace cosecant squared x with 1 over sine squared x and cosecant squared x with 1 over cosine squared x. Next we have sine squared x over sine squared x cancel to equal 1 and cosine squared x over cosine squared x also cancel to equal 1. So we're left with a cotangent of x times quantity cosine squared x plus sine squared x. And we go back to our Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So now we can replace cosine squared x plus sine squared x with 1. And this simplifies out to the cotangent of x which we box in as our correct answer. A little more involved, the second method, but also leading to the same conclusion of a correct answer. This has been Simplify a Trigonometric Expression. Thanks for viewing.